thousand or more years ago. A culture that erected huge stone structures like the Egyptian pyramids and the temples of the Aztecs. Does the answer lie in the mysterious Kaimanawa stone wall buried deep in the forest near Taupo? While geologists still wonder whether it's a natural rock formation or not, later this month, archaeologists will begin ex excavating around it. It's not what you expect to find in a country where human history is only a few hundred years old. Geologists can only come to one agreement about one aspect of this block wall. It's been here at least 2,000 years. There's two schools of thought at the moment. One that it's a natural occurrence, and one that the uh, blocks of rock have been placed here um, by some early civilization. The Kaimanawa Wall's well known to hunters and trampers, half an hour's drive down a dirt road on the highway between Napier and Topo. Most of it's buried, but not for long. It's on Department of Conservation land, and it's decided there's enough doubt about its origins to warrant digging it out. Yesterday, our archaeologist dug down about uh, half a metre below this face here, and this face was still going down, and we used a steel probe to feel underneath, and we were striking rock underneath that. So that gives an indication that at least there's something further down again. And the rocks themselves bend in a sort of a semicircle around, and it may be the shape of some sort of structure. This red beach discounted an earlier theory that the wall was part of a nearby 1930s sawmill. It's growing on top of the wall, and its size suggests it's been here for about a hundred years. Geologists who believe the wall's natural say molten ignimbrite rock from an eruption many thousands of years ago landed here and solidified quickly forming paper-thin cracks, the likes of it occur worldwide. But the joins seem too uniform for nature. Close examination reveals behind the first lot of blocks are more layers, separated by a perfect gap. The surface of each block is smooth, as if it's been cut. There are other mysteries too. In uh, other ancient civilizations, they had a stone which you paid respects to when you came into the site. And everyone apparently has this. And, uh, you know, conveniently, here it is. There's plenty of strange things about this wall, and one of them is the way it's facing. If you stand with your back to it, you're facing exactly due north. Now, it may be totally insignificant, but there's 360 other points on the compass where it could have been facing. Amid the mystery, one man's preparing to rewrite the country's history. Professor Barry Brailsford, who began the controversy, says evidence is building. New Zealand once had ancient Egyptian and South American links. The wall's not the work of Waitaha, New Zealand's oldest known people. They have said that this is beyond our time. And we had the mouse that roared, the, the rat, so to speak, the Polynesian rat, tell its story just a few weeks ago. And it's a story that says they were here 2,000 years ago and were brought here by people. In three weeks, the mystery's over. This forest will echo to the sound of mechanical diggers as Doc settles once and for all if this is the work of nature or an ancient people. Paul Allen, Three National News. Well, a man with some very definite theories about the wall is American historian and writer on ancient mysteries and civilizations, David Hatcher. Childress, how can you be so sure that this is man-made? Well, I mean, I don't know if we can be totally sure, Bill. Uh, I mean, the idea that the wall is facing north, the blocks are very uniform. Because the wall is, is starting to collapse to the west, the blocks are pulling apart from each other. Uh, there's spaces in the blocks we can get down and behind them. We can see other blocks that are also uniformly cut and squared uh, behind the, yeah. the blocks that we can see. We can see about nine blocks. See, geologists I talked to today said, oh yeah, but there are things like the Giant's Causeway in Ireland, which are natural phenomena. Those big square blocks, it's possible. Okay, right. Now, that is actually basalt. That's basalt crystals, and as, as yeah. that kind of volcanic core cools, it crystallizes into these six, eight-sided crystals. In mm -hmm. fact, there's a, there's a giant city built in Micronesia, yeah. 11 square miles, called Nan Madal. It's built out of... <laughs> to discover the uncanny similarities